guys welcome to my channel so today we are going to be doing spring empties it is officially summer it's july it's hot af here in maryland super humid we've got thunderstorms rolling in all that summery good stuff so i wanted to share all the products that i finished in the spring and this is only gonna be one video because we've been in quarantine and i haven't been really using anything up so i don't have too much but i got a lot so let's get started okay so we're gonna do candles because they're on top of course and they are really heavy so the first one is so cool it is by altered state which is i'm gonna say it's it's kind of like a southern boutique but mainstream at the same time because you can find it in malls there is one in maryland i only know of one and it's kind of like francesca's but bigger if you know francesca's you know what i mean but this is a candle that they burn in store this is the scent of their store it's called sanctuary it's their signature scent it's really good it's light tiny hint of floral and it's kind of lemony so i really really like this this container is so cute this was 28 bucks but it burned for such a long time i don't it doesn't say the burn time but also what i'm gonna do is melt that extra wax in here clean this out and i'm gonna put like um tea candles in this little tea light because i love mercury glass and when this was burning it just the ambiance it just looked so pretty so i'm gonna save this love that then we have nature's wick candle sea salt and jasmine Ooh, yes i like this it's a nice springy scent i kind of had to remember what this smelled like this is the first one of these that i've gotten like this um scent it's really nice i like that definitely will repurchase that i love nature's wick candles then we have a little bath and body works candle this is called paris daydream city of love this really takes me back i used to burn this scent in my apartment in college all the time so when i smell it that's what i think of like just good memories um this is the last one that i had of this and they don't make them anymore which is really sad it's an end of an era but it had to be done bath and body works again this is maple cinnamon pancakes this i definitely burned more towards like the wintry side of spring this is just such an amazing scent it really does smell like pancakes with maple syrup i get this every fall it is so so good so delicious then we have um dw home vanilla bean i love getting this candle from um what's it called from tj maxx or home goods or something like that they sell this brand and a lot of their different scents it's like vanilla -y, vanilla y but also salty a little bit i love to have this on my kitchen counter by like a bouquet of flowers and some cupcakes and like a little cake dish that kind of thing it's just a really nice pretty clean looking candle on the outside and a nice scent for your kitchen i'm getting hot i'm wearing sweatpants right now which is really dumb because i really just talked about how hot it is but it's been cold in my house a little bit but, uh, oh my god okay anyways sugared apple yankee candle this is a really good scent by them it's very crisp apple with like a hint a hint of sugar this definitely um, got used in the old house more towards like the wintry side of spring then we have um, this is an interesting candle this is white tea and it's by I don't know what company it's by Weston so like the hotel Weston hotels and resorts when we lived in Annapolis um, we were in a, an apartment complex or condo complex that was right next to the Annapolis Westin. Um, and we would go in there and this is the smell that they have like pumping through their vents. And it is so nice. It's like a white, it's a white tea because it's called white tea. But it kind of has like that lemon vibe to it. It smells super similar to Sanctuary. They smell very similar. I like this one better. But I found these on Amazon. I was trying to 
find like what scent they used in their vents and stuff and this popped up so i got them a while ago that was the last of like the trio that i got and then the last candle in this video is the rose petal macaron from target this is by opal house i believe yeah it's opal house which is a new brand at target like within 2020 which is replacing a lot of other stuff which is really interesting. This is definitely like a, I can't even, it's like suction cupped. It's like a woodsy rose. It's definitely got some woodness in there. Um, it says, it does say rose wood and sugared vanilla, but it definitely is more of that woodsy than like a pure rose scent. Okay, lots of body products in here. Let's do these three first. So Sol de Janeiro. We have the Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. This was in my June and my May and June favorites. So good, really moisturizing, smells incredible, along with the Bum Bum Creams. Oh God, I just like love dousing myself in this. It is so freaking good. Oh my God. I love this so much. I have a big guy, like a full size of these, but um, I just wanted to use these little ones up to make some progress in my project pan. Um, another body butter is the Righteous Butter by Soap and Glory. This is a tried and true for me. Smells incredible, luxurious, high end, but this is more of a drugstore product really delicious love it along with that we have a snow fairy body conditioner i believe this is the second to last one that i have i have one more that i'm going through these have lasted me for freaking ever but this is the body conditioner by lush the snow fairy scent which is a scent they come out with during the christmas time it is so good i after using all of these and all the body wash up which I have one right here. I really got sick of this set, so hopefully by Christmas time, I'll enjoy it again. Um, it's really good, it's very bubblegummy, um, very sweet, but it's just a fun scent. The body conditioner is really cool because it's one of those, it's a cream, like a really thick cream that you put on um, in the shower, you let it sit. You don't even have to let it sit for that long and then you just wash it off, just like rinse. Just rinse it off really quick and pat dry and it leaves your body so moisturized and it just is so yummy. And then this is the shower gel version of Snow Fairy. It's a shower gel. I, I would buy them in bulk during the holiday season because I love the scent so much and now I'm kind of like done. Okay, more body wash. This is the Body Shop British Rose Shower Gel. I'm going through another one of these in my shower i really like this it's a very sophisticated scent without being like sickening and it, it's just enjoyable in the shower you don't really smell that intense after the shower which i like because i love perfume so i don't want my things to mix you know what i mean this foams up so nice it is such a soft foam i really enjoy these a lot um okay body still we've got a loving tan mitt that is going in the trash because it's very, very used. And then I used up another deluxe bronzing mousse in ultra dark by Loving Tan. I have one that I'm currently using and then I have two backups. I love this stuff. It's what I have on right now as my fake tan. It is so good, so good. And you can get it now at Ulta in store and online. So that's super exciting because then I can actually go in store in Ulta and get it near me without having to wait like a week to get it if I order it online. All right, this is a bubble bath, but this is the Drench Me Bubble Bath Soap by Zoella Beauty, which isn't a thing anymore, but this is so nice. I do have another one of these that I got at TJ Maxx. Zoella kind of went off of YouTube and ended her brand, which is sad because I mean like the scent of this is really nice. It's very tropical, but like a plant tropical. It's not like coconutty or anything like that. I don't know how to describe it. I really don't. Maybe I can find the notes and put it right here. But this is just like it was just a fun um, bubble bath item. Okay, I have one hair care 
and then all skincare except for two things for makeup. So I went through chlorine dry shampoo. I recently got a huge bottle of this, which I didn't know they sell. It must be a new thing, but I was on Sephora and I needed to restock up on this. And there was a bigger bottle than just this. And I'm very excited about that because I really, really love this stuff. Okay, let's do makeup and then let's do skincare. So I went through the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I have a, a new one that I'm using. It's actually the liner that I used today. I really like this stuff. Has a really nice tip on it. And I just, I just like this liner a lot. I do. I think it's a tried and true and a classic. And then I went through apparently only one pair of lashes this spring, which when I think about it, I don't think that's a lie. Cause I haven't been really wearing makeup. So these are the Ardell Naked Lashes 421s. I love this range so much. I'm actually wearing a pair right now, which I believe are the 421s. So nice, so fluffy, dramatic. You wouldn't even think that they were like five bucks. I can use these over and over again. If you take good care of your Ardell lashes, you can probably get five uses out of them. I definitely have, so there you go. Okay, skincare. So a face mask that I used up was the Karuna Antioxidant Face Mask. I have a Karuna in like every um, empties that I do. I just got like a multi-pack of these and I've just been using them up. It was okay, it wasn't the best. It, just, it added hydration to my face, which was great, but it didn't really like wow me. Another face mask I used up is a mini of the Tatcha Violet C Radiance Mask. It's that um, purple mask. It's like a violet color. I really like this. It is so soothing on the skin. Feels really freaking beautiful on the skin. Even when you're putting it on, it just feels luxurious and it feels very nourishing. It's not too, too hydrating, so it's not going to um, freak my oily girls out. It does just give you like just a glow, a bounce to your skin. I just, I really enjoy it. Three lip balms. We have two minis of the um, Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. I love this stuff so much, clearly. I'm going through right now the Agave Plus, like a mini of the lip balm that's a stick, and then I have a backup big guy of this. And then I finished the Glossier Coconut Balm.com. These are really great, a little bit less um, expensive than the Bite Beauty ones. Bite Beauty, I think, is a little bit more superior. The Glossier Balm.coms that have more of a um, sugar in them, like a sweeter taste. I think it was this one included. So it's like the birthday cake, this one. Um, I think there was another one. They tend to separate a little bit. So you just kind of have to like pour that portion out and then use the balm part. I am going through the rose one right now, which I am almost done. It has just a couple uses left. That one didn't separate at all. So I feel like it's the one that, the ones that definitely have a little bit of sweetness to them. But these are really great alternatives to the Bite Beauty. I just think the Bite Beauty is just a tad bit more superior. It's thicker. Um, I think it stays on the lips a little bit more and it gives you more of that like mask feel and hydration than this. I think this is a really good like everyday kind of lip balm. All right, two products left. First is the Ole Henriksen Truth C Rush Brightening Gel Cream. This was so good. Oh, so, so good. I'm all about my vitamin C and this was just a really beautiful moisturizer. I love Ole Henriksen, one of my favorite, favorite brands. And then we have the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Face Facial Oil. This is definitely my favorite face oil ever. It's just like this. It feels so luxurious going on the skin. It's thick, but not too thick. Like it's thick, like it has a purpose, you know? It's not runny where it's just like, oh, I'm just gonna sit on your skin and do nothing. I think it really gets in there, moisturizes the skin. 
it is so so good but it's very expensive which is why i have the little guy okay guys that is everything for this empties i hope you guys enjoyed this tried to keep it a little short and sweet but we had some stuff to go through so if you like this please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you later guys bye